I feel like that goes back a little bit to the NBA now. And we're not getting as much of a sense as guys wanting to stay at in one city. Mm -hmm. The players have a lot more control, I feel like, over the league right now, which I think is a good thing in some ways and not so great in other ways. How do you feel about that? So this is controversial. I love it. Let's hear it. <laughs> and you're going to get me in trouble. That's why you asked me this question. I'm not trying to get you in trouble really on the good court at your cycle. Job. I follow your movement. You're doing a great job. You're killing the game. Appreciate Congratulations. It. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so you're going to get me in trouble here, but I'm going to be honest with you. You play ball mm -hmm. on every level that you played. When you went to do a pickup run, who picked the teams? The best player. Boom. <laughs> the best okay. players yeah. played against each other. The origin of the game, when the, we show up at the park, everybody know who been running here every Saturday. Yeah, you're you know, picking a team, I'm picking a team. Yeah. Boom, right? <laughs> this is what we, we're not running together. No. Even if we're not guarding each other, we ain't playing on the same team. It changes when an MVP player like LeBron leaves Cleveland. That changes the game. Yes. That that, <laughs> yeah. that 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 changes the game. Yeah. And the one thing that he did that's so legendary is went back to Cleveland and won a championship. Because had he not done that, he'd be still searching like KD right now. Oh, you think? Because let, let me yeah. give you some game. Let me okay. give you some game. I told you this is controversial now. Let me clear my throat. <clears throat> I'm, so, I'm getting it so far, though. Yes, it makes sense right? so far. Okay, yeah. so when he went to Miami, the great LeBron James, the billionaire Bron, I love him very much. When they did their press conference, how many championships did they say they were going to win? Not one, not two, not three. Keep going. <laughs> exactly. Not five, keep going. not six, <laughs> not seven. Yeah. They ain't win five. This is true. D-Wade, that's my brother. I love him. I, 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 he inspired me showing my ankles today. Shout, shout out to D-Wade. Shout out to Chris Bosh. Played with him in Toronto. My guys. But when they hooked up and they joined that big three, they formed that super team, what ended up happening is LeBron was like, Cleveland's not going to give me the resources to get this done. And my time here is expired. So I need to go somewhere where a championship pedigree exists mm -hmm. with Pat Riley, with the Miami Heat, who had just won a championship. I covered it. When they won it, I was there with my all-white everything. I saw him win it. And so that was a great player for the first time, an all-time great player conceding. We can't just win because we got me. That's See, nice. I grew up watching an era where – Magic, Bird, when they went to bed at night, we going to win because we got me. Jordan, yeah. Isaiah, Hakeem, Kareem, Shaq, Kobe, we going to win because we got me. And so that changes when he leaves. But he rectified it when he went back to win in Cleveland. I will say being from Ohio, I wasn't somebody who burned the jerseys. Um but I was sad when he won in Miami first. Yeah, you because were. it felt like, and, yeah, and I were. get it from yeah, a business side, but you know what I mean. I'm like, wow, like that could have been ours first. And for Ohio sports, even in general, we don't have much. And then being from, you know, from that hometown, so for him to come back, that was also. I remember watching from an airport the the finals, and I was like about to tear up. I was like, this is, you know, this is the one. But it hurt. It stung as a fan. You can't tell me. <laughs> You cannot tell me when he left Ohio that that wasn't one of the most painful things in the history of sports in that time. Yeah, it was pain, for sure. And then he go join the big three and win a championship? Right. <laughs> Two of them? Yeah. He had to go back and make it right. So, championships, as I've learned, I would love to have – 15, I would, rest in peace, Bill Russell. And by the way, every team, don't just retire his number. Every team should hang a banner in their arena with the Russell 6 lifted 
because it doesn't become out of sight, out of mind. That's truly what I believe. So now, you're KD. You do the same thing. You leave OKC, even though the Warriors beat you, and you join the Warriors. Win finals MVP twice, two championships. They would have won the third one had he not gotten hurt, had Clay not got hurt, but they didn't. He wasn't happy. You know why he wasn't happy? Even when they won their first championship, Bob Myers was at the press. Uh, Bob Myers was at the parade. People was joking about him joining a bandwagon. You know it. Oh, yeah. I know it. Yeah. Everybody felt like that Saturday run you just talked about. Instead of y'all playing against each other, seriously, <laughs> seriously, yeah. we was up three one, and you played. Yeah. How many times you cry in the locker room with your team? A lot. Okay. Yeah. So imagine what happens when we up 3-1 and we lose the series. You in the locker room like, yeah, I'm sick. screw them. Yeah. And then you go join them. So when you do that, right. it's like LeBron in Cleveland. That is a professional admission that I can't get it done in OKC, which – you're allowed to do. All-time great player, you're allowed to do that. But when you go to the Warriors, it didn't necessarily make them happy. Right. And so now you go to the Nets looking for that happiness. Like LeBron was able to do in Cleveland, but LeBron delivered. And now look, the Warriors go on and win a championship without KD. They the only team this year that didn't win a game in the playoffs. And what did he do after that? I would like to go elsewhere. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Right. Correct way to okay. say it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Like I love Scottie Pippen, the OG, and the, one of the the greatest disrespects to his career is people called him Robin, six time champion, and it's sad when the last dance is being played that he can't even sit back and enjoy it. Yeah. He can't even enjoy it. Six championships. Can't even enjoy it, right? KD, two championships in the Warriors. Left to go do his own thing with Kyrie, and it ain't happened yet. Do you think Steph has that mentality that you talked about with Magic Kobe where he goes to bed at night and he's like, I can win because of me? Absolutely. No doubt about it. And that's why he's a babyface assassin. (laughs) <laughs> see, see, here, here's the thing about Steph that people underestimate. He going for the kill. What's up, guys? It's Rachel Demita. Thank you so much for watching Courtside Club. Make sure that you like, rate, and subscribe to ESPN's YouTube channel and wherever you listen to your podcast. We have new episodes coming to you guys every single week, so stay tuned for that, and I'll see you soon.